Hello there, I Incredible Hulk. I teach stupids how to use Windows Vista. Many good features with Windows Vista. Added security and silly little sidebar which is slightly reminiscent of Mac OS X. As Hulk was saying, many good new features on Windows Vista. The updated security feature frustrate many people. This computer has security problem. It come up in few moments. Look at silly security device. Software being blocked is simply for wireless mouse. Grrrr! Windows Vista have very good voice recognition software for those with arms that Hulk has ripped off. Hulk will now demonstrate how to use voice recognition software. Hulk say start listening. Start listening. Start. AIM6. No, AIM6. Uh, start? No, start! Stop listening. Start listening. Start. Paint. Number one. Okay. No! 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 Back on subject of accessibility options. Vista also have very nice narrator program. Listen to a very bored voice explaining every content of Visualize every window. Narrator. What? Microsoft narrator window. What? Focus on quick help button. Contains narrator will read aloud what is on screen as you navigate using the keyboard. Main narrator settings group. What? Users keystrokes checkbox is unchecked. Je ne parle pas français. Hulk ne parle pas français. Announced scroll notifications checkbox is unchecked. Start narrator minimize checkbox is unchecked. Quick help button. Voice settings button. Is it done? Exit button. Application menu bar with three items. What? Okay, I think it's done. Okay, so let's say, you know, Blind person, poor blind person. They like music. They like listen to iTunes. iTunes. What? Top list with ten items. What? iTunes window. Oh, help me to work on this. Editable text. Window maximized. iTunes. iTunes. What? There are no iTunes in this house. Uh, help me some time alone with Microsoft Narrator. Voice recognition is silly anyway. Hulk show how to set new settings only available on Windows Vista. Just like in old Windows computers, settings are all in control panel. Go to control panel. And where is control? Oh. What? Vista move. Vista moves control panel. Hulk not approve. Anyway. Hulk will go to a control panel. Uh, say we say, perhaps. A lot of program to What? What? Security feature? No, no. Hulk is frustrated. Hulk kill Vista. Ah, uh, Hulk can skip settings for later anyway. Now, Hulk explain the beauty of Windows Sidebar. Windows Sidebar, uh, offers many pieces of information without hitting too much button for the fat people who do not like to do much. It offers easy to use buttons, which aren't showing up. Um, notice how it wastes a lot of CPU space and runs as an extra process in Task Manager. Not very useful. Wait, no, very useful, yes, Hulk-like. Hulk, uh, like, yes. Notice how Trashcan has been renamed Recycle Bin, 
Windows good for environment. Vista also offers many exciting games for those who are too lazy to go out and, I don't know, maybe buy an Xbox 360 or something. Look at the wide category of games. Very nice. We have Blackhawk Striker 2. Let's play that. And it's not loading. What? Only one free trial? What is this? Dell blows up computer with useless games which only have four free plays left by full version. No, no, Hulk Angry. Hulk will now show you the many good features of Windows Media Center. With the help of a floating hand with a really cool watch and a Windows Media Center remote. Hulk have to admit, that was pretty freaking cool. Notice how they waste even more CPU space with fancy buttons and remote compatibility. Let's say Hulk wants to see movies. No movies? What? Oh! Hulk cannot stand the 15 minute load times. What is the meaning of this? Windows Media Center remote can also be used to control every aspect of computer. Like say we want to turn off. Computer is now turned. Wait, what? What is the meaning of this? Media remote turn on Xbox 360? No! Microsoft Narrator Windows.